And as I said, we need to insist on STEM-M and not just STEM. STEM with a moral component, not just STEM for STEM's sake, because if you unpeel and unpack the STEM rhetoric in most of the policy documents, and you can do this if you have a computer right now, pull up any policy document around STEM, and you're going to find a lot of language around international competitiveness, threats to the nation, anti-terrorism, nationalism, and the closer you get to nationalism, you get to xenophobia, you get to racism, and if we're asking black boys and black girls to join into that, right, to join into STEM-related efforts that have that as its base, its fundamental grounding, right, in a country that has oppressed them in many cases, and now we're asking them to do the kind of work and the kind of mathematics that does harm to others, I think that conversation needs a, a moment of pause. Even if you go to the non-STEM area, you go into the financial world and business. Financial mathematics is very dangerous. We know what happened with the housing crisis, the real estate crisis, the stock market. So mathematics is a very dangerous game. We need to be very, very careful about advocating um, for just black boys and black girls going in without the armor that they need to be able to understand what happens in those environments.